Oh, Hawkeye Holler Nation stand up and welcome back to the channel. And guess what, you guys? The loop track is back now. 14 of what? Why is why is Bomb Shaker backwards? No, no, no. You, have, you guys got to face forward. So 14 of our 16 competitors from our past two events are here. Unfortunately, the big rigs are unable to complete this course as this is a really tight loop. But we're, regardless, we're going to have a ton of fun with it. And I am super looking forward to this tournament. So I hope you guys are as well. I, I know you got these videos have done so well in the past. So hopefully this one kind of garners the same sort of, uh, of uh, impressions here on YouTube. As you guys can see, the six lane super stretch is way up off of the ground. Had to add another box set. That way these guys have their speed hitting the loop and continuing their momentum. Now, fun part about this loop track variation, the track ends about a uh, foot and a half short of the finish line. So hopefully we see some bumping and banging along the way. But with that introduction out of the way, if you guys are new here, consider subscribing, ringing the bell, becoming part of the Hawkeye Holler Nation today. You're home for monster truck racing. I'm just a guy from Iowa who enjoys picking up these trucks, these beautiful big trucks, these BBTs, racing them on the tracks. I love to create and putting on one heck of a show for you guys. Now, of course, I'm not going to toot my horn, horn too much. We do have some flops here on the channel. And of course, that's called living and learning. But again, subscribe, ring the bell, become part of the Hawkeye Holler Nation today. Not only here, but also on Hawkeye Holler 2. You guys can find that link straight down below. Now, we're just going to go ahead and jump into it. Single elimination. Line these trucks up in the middle. Race them down. May the odds be ever in their favor. I don't know if you guys can tell from the camera, but look how steep that angle is. The camera is straight. These guys are getting ready to plummet to that loop. Look how far away it is. Man, oh man. Great racing awaits. Hotweiler and the Jurassic Park uh, Ford Explorer. There we go. Almost said Town Hall. Technically, it is a Town Hall by the Ashton. Quit rambling. Hotweiler, Jurassic Park. Let's roll. All right. I am going to expect some crashes in this loop. I'm expecting a lot of double DNFs, but let's see what happens. Let's drop those gates. The loop track is back. Oh, just like that. We got a crash. Now, during the trial periods of constructing this track, a lot of the trucks were able to make it too wide. Uh, a lot of times they crashed out just like this. So uh, we're gonna restack them and do it again. And just like that, we are re rack We will switch the lane, see if that has some sort of effect on this track, but uh, no promises. And at the end of the day, I'm not here to keep you guys here all day. Uh, we don't need super long videos, so uh, let's go. Oh, Hotwiler's able to get it done. Nice. Forgot to turn on that dang gate again. So, the Jurassic Park Jeep is eliminated. Well, Jurassic Park Ford Explorer. We'll go ahead and line him up over there. Hotwiler, come on over here, my guy. We will park the winners. Uh, uh. We'll just go ahead and line the winners. Oh, shoot. Huh. Right there. Coming up next to the loop track, you got Samson taking on Stormtrooper. Samson and the Stormtrooper are ready to rumble. Let's go. Oh, Stormtrooper. Now, you don't have to make it all the way to the gate. You just need to stay on the track and stay ahead of your opponent. So, Samson is eliminated. We'll go ahead and line him up right here. Stormtrooper, line him up right there next to Hotweiler. Coming up next, you have Duck and Roll taking on the Mercedes-Benz Unimog. Now, fun thing about that Mercedes-Benz Unimog, they are running chain tires. Let's go. Oh, man.
Now, before you guys go ahead and start leaving the comments, I know it's gonna happen. Please keep in mind, this loop track is not meant for monster trucks. This is meant for Hot Wheels, such as that car right there. It is not made for these big trucks, so these trucks will lose, you know, these trucks have the double axles, they will get loose in the middle of that loop, and inevitably, they may crash out. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead, reline these guys back up, do it again, and please just keep in mind, this is not the truck's fault, this is not my fault. Trucks are not made for this type of track. If it works, it works. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It, it's just the name of the game. Lined up and ready to try this again. All right, let's see if we have a better result from this go about. Let's go. Oh man, the Unimog took him out. All right, that was two and done. Duck and roll technically still on the track. Further ahead of the Unimog, they will advance to the next round. The Unimog, unfortunately, going home. Coming up next, it will be the Myers Manx and Motosaurus. Myers Manx is running slick tires. Let's see if that helps him. Let's go. Oh, Motosaurus, what was that? Man, that was quick. The Myers Manx gets taken out. We'll park him over there with the losers. Motosaurus was a quick run. That was amazing. Nice. A couple of heavyweights get ready to race. It's Mega Rex taking on Rhino Might. Both of these trucks are so incredibly fast. Let's see which one can conquer the loop. Let's go. Oh, Mega Rex. They both came out of the loop pretty clean, but as soon as they hit this blue part right here, they were getting way loose, bumping into one another. Mega Rex technically still on the track, further ahead of Rhinomite. Mega Rex will advance. I'm gonna try on something a little bit different with this race. Bigfoot and Cage Rattler are next, but this time we have all four wheels behind the start gate. Also, that fly is still buzzing around in here. Oh my goodness, wish I could catch him. Let's go. Oh man, a double wipeout and my string broke. Again, to keep this show on the road and not keep you guys here all day, Bigfoot will advance. Cage Rattler is completely off of the track. Unfortunately, this is... I'm going to be honest with you guys, and that, that's what I believe in. I believe in honesty. I don't want to lie to you guys, and I'm going to be honest. This track is not doing what it was doing in testing. All these trucks tested, all of them were able to complete it. Even Well, not, not every single time, but, you know, I'd say seven times out of ten, these trucks were able to complete this track. I don't know what's going on today. I don't know uh if it's just the way i'm yanking on the track string too hard I, I truly do not know what it is but this is not the kind of racing i hope for we will finish off the tournament but i i do say i think the loop track uh, definitely needs some refining so if you guys have any tips or tricks let me know in those comments down below it would greatly appreciate it, it would greatly be appreciated coming up next it is dairy delivery taking on bomb shaker We've had so many loop tracks in the past, and uh, each one of them have fared very, very differently. Different results every time. It's just hard to duplicate it every time you want to do a video, unless you have a permanent track set up for this kind of racing. But anywho, let's go. Well, okay. I, I opened my mouth, and we actually have two trucks complete the loop. Dairy Delivery is further ahead. They will advance.
even if these trucks aren't able to make it to the finish line, if they can both make it to the loop and kind of race one another once they hit the big, uh, the big stretch, that'd be all right. That, that that's a win in my book. But when they both crash out, and honestly, it's not fair to the to one of these trucks. Usually, it's one truck over the other that crashes out and ends up taking out their opponent. Alrighty, the next round begins with the Battle Damage Stormtrooper taking on Hotwiler. All right, Battle Damage Stormtrooper and Hotwiler. Let's go. See, just like that. Hotwiler is further ahead, even though they are, they're both crashed out, but Hotwiler is further ahead. They will advance. Battle Damage Stormtrooper eliminated. Coming up next, it will be Motosaurus taking on Duck and Roll. Motosaurus and Duck and Roll get ready to go. Oh, good race, Motosaurus. Great race between both competitors. It will be good old Motosaurus moving on. Actually doing really well in the far lane. A lot better than the trucks are doing in the near lane. Motosaurus advances. And here we go. Bigfoot and Mega Rex get ready to go. All right. Both of these trucks had a good run in their last outing. Let's go. Oh, Mega Rex kind of gets in the middle of the track. Bigfoot is eliminated over there. I'm gonna turn him around, park him. Mega Rex advances. And of course, we will give Dairy Delivery a buy into the next round. We got four trucks remaining. Alrighty, here we go. Motosaurus and Hotwiler. Who moves on to the final two? All right, Motosaurus, Hotwiler, here we go. Oh, Hotwiler spins out. Motosaurus is gonna be the truck to beat. Hotwiler is eliminated with a capital E because Motosaurus. Motosaurus has been the truck of the day by far. Truck has been so very good. Another heavyweight showdown is ready. Dairy Delivery and Mega Rex. Who moves on? Take on Motosaurus. Mega Rex and Dairy Delivery. Here we go. Ooh, what a wheelie. A double DNF comes from both of these competitors. Dairy Delivery is further behind. They are eliminated. Mega Rex moves on to take on Motosaurus in a battle of the dinos. And now this is a best two out of three first truck to win too. Will it be Mega Rex or Motosaurus? I believe Motosaurus has this in the bag. Here we go. Oh no, they both spin out. All right, Motosaurus spun up off the track. Mega Rex is upside down right there. That is a double DNF. 0-0 zero, zero to start off this final round. The lanes are switched. We are at 0-0. Zero, 0-0. Zero. Zero, zero. Two races remain. Let's go. Oh, a spin out once again. Double DNF for this final round. We have one race remaining now since this is the final round. There are double DNFs in place. This could be the very first tie we have here on the channel. 
our lanes are switched once again and we are at our final race one of these trucks needs to win or nobody does if these trucks cannot finish this will be the first time ever that i've implanted implemented not implanted not implanted implemented a uh no winner let's go oh no it's gonna be mega rex what You have got to be kidding me. The truck that was the best truck all day long ends up being eliminated in the very final race. You have unheard of. This is why I say subscribe and ring that bell. Become part of the Hawkeye Holler Nation today because every single video we do, nine times out of ten, the very final race is one for the books. Now this truck, Mega Rex, had not been around all day. And here he is in the very final race, conquering Motosaurus and conquering the loop track. How about them apples? Now across all three events we've held with this, these trucks right here, recreational again, five time reigning, defending, undisputed, falling off the mound. Hold on, we're, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna redo that. <clears throat> the reigning, defending, undisputed monster truck, King of the Hill, recreational one, of course, the King of the Hill. Then we went to the out and back track where Cage Rattler with chain tires won it all. And then we come here to the loop track where Mega Rex shows up out of nowhere, spanks the competition, and goes hasta la vista. I'll see you later. And it's all said and done. And just like that, the loop track, once again in the books, uh, out of all the loop track iterations we've done, this honestly probably my least favorite. Uh, I wish we had better racing, and I do apologize to you, Hawkeye Holler Nation, that this wasn't better racing. But unfortunately, like I said, testing went fine. We saw I saw good racing. Maybe I should just start filming the testing instead. Uh, but anywho. That's it. If you guys could really do all the good stuff, it would really mean a lot to me. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Definitely make sure you're part of the Hawkeye Holler Nation today. Not only here, but also over on Hawkeye Holler too. You guys can find those links down below. And if you're willing and able, please consider becoming a Patreon member. It does help support the channel. It funds videos just like the ones you're watching right now. It, it truly does go a long way. $5 a month on Patreon or $2.99 a month here on YouTube. You guys can become part of my pit crew. Again, all those support me links are down below. It's greatly appreciated, but just liking this video helps so very much, more than you guys would ever know unless you guys are doing YouTube. Then you guys understand the value of liking a video. But with that being said, remember it's okay to not be okay. Love yourself, love one another. Peace, love, and diecast racing. I'll see you back here at the holler. I don't know what we're gonna do next with the monster trucks, but uh, I think it's gonna be something fun. Maybe an obstacle course, sounds pretty cool. Now, uh, before I go, before I go, over on Hawkeye Heller 2, again, link down below, the Demolition Tournament is continuing in an all-new format, so make sure you head over there, check it out, videos starting on that very soon. I am out of here. Peace.